And so, after a great deal of thought, I've decided to declare my candidacy for the United States Senate. This decision was not taken lightly by me. That doesn't make any sense. Of course I wouldn't take it lightly. I just said I gave it a great deal of thought. <laughs> you know Let's do that section again. Okay? Ready? Just a second, okay? Five, four, three. And so, after a great deal of thought, I've decided to declare my candidacy for the United States Senate. As you well know, these are challenging times for our country, times which require strong leadership, but leadership tempered with justice, compassion, and the certain knowledge that one is following the will of the people. Now, during the course of this campaign, I'll be talking a lot about my platform, but I won't be talking as much as I'll be listening. For I want to hear your ideas, your concerns. For in the Senate, your voice will be my voice. And if you should honor me and elect me your senator, I promise you that that voice will be heard in Washington. Thank you very much. Cut. Very good. <laughs> Wonderful. Oh. Let's do another one of those casual ones. Take your jacket off. No, we already have one with my jacket off. Uh, and enough, huh? Anyway, I, I just don't understand why I don't have a press conference and announce my candidacy that way. You can't just jump in cold. You have to get your feet wet first, test the waters. She's right. You need an image. Why can't I just be myself? <laughs> because you want the vote. <clears throat> what? Look, I know you don't like him, but I would appreciate a little positive input. Why? Because it's your job. Because you're good at PR. And besides, Ross is important to me. Well, then in that case, I will do whatever I can to help him. Thank you. Ray, do me a favor and send a copy over to my house ASAP. And don't let anyone else see it, especially Mr. Thorpe. Sure thing. Especially Mr. Thorpe. I don't want him to find out anything before my announcement. Understood? I'm not going to say anything. You have been known to take his side occasionally. Well, he has heart on his side now. I'm neutral. I think she means it. We've been having some long talks lately. I don't see any scars. Good talks. Well, that's odd, considering how she feels about you and what happened with Alan Michael. You know something? I think she's gotten over that. We're getting along. I hope it lasts. Me too. Anyway, we've got other things to talk about. Why don't you come over to my place tonight? We'll look at the tapes and decide which version works best. Mm -hmm. Oh, we can watch it here. I'll have a VCR brought in. Oh, that's okay. Mine's already set up. All right, whatever. Okay, I've got to get back to work. I'll see you tonight. Blake, you coming? Uh, yeah, just a second. I just want to get these real fast. Okay, bye. rationalize honesty in the government when you're not even honest in your own personal life. And what does that mean? The way you've been leading my mother on. Oh, please. Don't tell me you haven't noticed how she throws herself at you. Blake, that's ridiculous. Ross, I told you before, she wants to have an affair with you again. And you know it, don't you? Blake, this is simply none of your business. Don't you find it odd, her sudden lavish devotion to you? What I find odd is your sudden interest in your mother's welfare, considering what happened with Alan Michael. Oh, well, I'll admit that I was very angry at first. But she was right. I mean, I was going after something that was impossible. Maybe that's why I'm so sensitive to what's going on between the two of you. Nothing is going on. Well, you have been seeing a lot of each other lately. Well, of course we have. Vanessa's trial meant a great deal to your mother, and then before that, there was Daniel. Well, things like that can bring two people together. I simply have so many other things to think about these days. Yeah, I guess it would be pretty embarrassing if she came on to you. Why are you so interested in this? Because no one knows better than I what it's like to go after someone and have them reject you. It's humiliating. Well, your mother would never do anything like that. Yeah, I guess it would be a mistake. Yes. Oh. Mind? Yes, I'm going. Thank you for setting me straight. You've been a big help.
after a great deal of thought, I've decided to declare my candidacy for the hey, United States. Hey, oh, busy, busy. As you well I'm know, glad you're here. I need your input on these tapes, new PR expert. <laughs> you know, I sort of like the rumpled, casual look. Don't you think you look so cute that way? And the certain knowledge you know, a lot of people don't want cute. The they want smart. People. Someone who looks really put together, you know. I'll be talking a lot about my platform. Yeah, he should be, be as much as in I'll a be suit and, and a law I book. Your you know, someone that's organized, they can see things through, you know, the old the Senate, law and order look. Your voice mm, will probably be my right. voice. Yeah, but no gray suits. And if you too should stodgy, honor me, too old boy network. Senator, okay, I promise you, you got that it. That voice Thank will you. Be heard well, whatever I can do. You know, I never thought I would see the day we could just talk and not fight. It's nice, isn't it? Yeah, well, sometimes you think things will never happen, but they do. I must say, I am relieved that you've forgiven me for... for telling Elaine what you were up to with Alan Michael. Yeah, well, I'll admit I was really angry in the beginning, but I realized that it was my fault. I just waited too long. There will be another man, a better man. Just wait. Yeah, we'll see. Take it from someone who knows. You know, I'm no expert, but would you like some advice? About what? Don't do what I did. Don't wait too long. What do you mean? Ross, didn't you say you were interested in him again? <laughs> yeah, well, I'd rather wait for him to make the first move. Do you think that's smart? He probably doesn't even know you're interested. Yeah, but I wouldn't want to throw myself at him. Well, you know, once he announces his run for the Senate, he's going to be getting a lot of attention. I mean, come on. A successful, handsome bachelor? You better go after him before someone else gets him first. You really think I should throw myself at him? Oh, well, I wouldn't exactly put it that way, but... I don't think it would hurt if he knew you were interested. I don't know. You think... I think Ross is afraid of aggressive women. Really? Well, he likes Rebecca Nash. The lawyer. Why do you say that? Well, don't you remember how he went on and on about how sharp and aggressive she was? He surely didn't seem to mind. Yeah, well, she's not his type. How do you know what his type is? I lived with him, remember? Yeah. Ages ago. But you know, it's been a long, dry spell for Mr. Marler. He's ripe for the taking. And don't think that Rebecca Nash isn't going to go after him now that the trial's over. Then where will you be? Mm. Well, she is attractive in a blonde, sort of obvious way. You have to stake your territory, Mom. <laughs> what a way to put it. Well, I'm just being honest. I mean... I wasn't with Alan Michael, and look what happened. I'm, I'm just being honest with you. Yeah, well, it would be a lot easier if Ross made the first move. Why should he? Look how many times you've walked over him to get to someone else. First dad, mm. then Daniel, then dad again. <laughs> no wonder the guy's gun shy. You really think so? Absolutely. You have to encourage him. Maybe. No, no maybes. If you love him, go after him. house is for the two of you. Good luck. Blake, I can't push Ross into this. It just isn't me. Well, fine. Then don't come crying to me when Rebecca snags him. You really think I should say something? It's your life, but I think that after Daniel, you deserve someone really special. Well, thank you, honey. You're welcome. I mean, this is your chance. So take it. Do it. Go for what you deserve. Oh, oh, that's Ross. Okay, I'll go out the back way. Good luck. Oh. Come on in. Well, hi. You're right on time. Good. Well, did you uh, get a chance to review the tapes? Yes, I did. Why don't you sit down and we'll discuss the pros and cons. They're both valid as campaign commercials. Make yourself comfortable. So where's 
Oak Lake. I can't believe she missed an opportunity to criticize me. Well, you've lucked out. Looks like she's spending the night at the club. So we have the house all to ourselves. Since you're batching it, do you want to uh, join us? Uh, no, thanks. I just saw Blake, and I need to speak with him. Excuse me. See you later. Will somebody please tell me why he cannot leave that woman alone? Scotch and set on the rocks, please. Blake? Can't a girl go out alone without being bothered? I just want to know why you hung up on me the other day. I just asked you why Holly came by Spalding. It's not like I was asking you to divulge any state secret. Thank you. Uh, well, that's good, because Mother's lousy at keeping secrets. But I guess you and Elena, you already know that. Look, if you're still angry at me, I, I, I don't have to call you. No, I'm just busy. To unrequited love, may it never darken my door again. Another scotch and soda, please. So, do you have any plans for dinner? Oh, I must be hearing things. I can't imagine that you'd want to be seen with me, much less buy me dinner. Look, I'm just concerned that you, you're drinking on an empty stomach. Oh, you're so good to me. As a matter of fact, you are the most attentive ex I have. Blake, I never meant to hurt you. <laughs> I'm hearing things again. Are you sure you're all right? Of course I am. As Lindsay women are used to rejection. Hmm. As a matter of fact, Mom should be getting rejected by Ross Marler about right now. Ross! Yeah? Hey. Congratulations again. Jack Kiley's admission of guilt is in all the papers, front page. Oh, thank you very much. I'm glad it's over. Hello, Mary. So, hi. You here celebrating? Actually, I was on my way home. Next thing I know, I find myself here. Well, have a good time. We'll see you later. Bye. Yeah, good night. You can't have it both ways, Alan Michael. I have my pride. What are you talking about? Oh, please. Isn't it enough for you? Blake, I didn't do anything. Don't you get it? I'm sick of being hurt by you. I think she had too much to drink. Maybe she's sick of somebody leading her on. Sounds like you two still having problems. <laughs> Don't worry about it. Would you <laughs> like to talk about it? Talk? No. You know, sometimes all a girl really needs is a good... dip. You know what I mean? Oh. 
Could you please get dressed? Look all you want, I don't care. I wasn't looking, I was just glancing. I don't want you to catch cold. <laughs> You're sweet. that's practically coming off, going skinny dipping in this pool the other evening as I was passing by. You were spying on me? Ross, you should be ashamed of yourself. I am not the one who's doing this. Doing what? Flaunting yourself at me. Why are you doing it? Preservation of the species? Bad taste? Your cologne, or maybe it's all in your imagination. I bet you have a big imagination. Blake, we don't like each other. Oh. Are you sure? I don't hate you, but you do some very disturbing things. A girl has needs, don't you? Not the kind that get me in trouble. Then you are very lucky. What a well put together guy. Is that what you'd be for me? Trouble? I'm not offering to be anything for you. Then why are you out here? Because I'm afraid of what you're going to do next. <laughs> you know, I am too. <laughs> Why won't you get dressed? Because it bothers you. Why are you coming on to me? Because it bothers you. <laughs> I know that you like to play these little games. <laughs> but shouldn't you be playing with somebody just a little younger? Uh, more immature, like Alan Michael, who doesn't know who he is yet. Or Frank, who does, and doesn't even like it. Someone who's content would do just fine. Oh, you mean someone boring. Well, that's you. Now, that's a very unusual approach. Oh, I mean good boring. Ah. Solid. Ah. All the other men I know are rotten, just pretending to be decent. And I try to help them. But, you know, I finally realized they don't want to be decent. They want nice girls who will do that for them. You, you don't need help being decent. <laughs> you need something else. Such as? Fun. You remember fun, don't you, Rose? Yeah, well, fun is not going to get me elected senator, is it? No, it won't. But the winner will be pea green with envy. Think of it as a Buddhist sort of victory. <laughs> Roger, he put you up to this, didn't he? My dad want me with you. No. I can make my own mistakes. I thought you knew that. Okay, I'm sorry. I don't know what's going on here then. I know. And I love you for it. But it is not going to happen. Now, come on, Blake. I am your mother's friend. Why? You don't even want her. And who could blame you? She treated you like the family dog. Give it a meal, pet it behind the ears, but don't let it up on the bed. That is none of your damn business. Mom wasted you, Ross, and you know it. I wouldn't. God, I don't believe you. 
<laughs> no one else can either. And I think you're rather drunk. And if I was somebody else, you could be in a lot of trouble. <laughs> oh, you really are, gentlemen. You're definitely my mother's type. Blake! Blake! You cannot go in there with no clothes on. I'm going home. Blake, you can't drive in your condition either, Blake! Blake! Well, your mother must have gone out. Yeah, looks like it. You didn't have to drive me home. I am perfectly capable of sitting behind a steering wheel. So long as you didn't turn on the ignition. Really, you can go now. I don't think I'll get too far in this 1978 striped sports job. No, I don't think I should be leaving you alone just yet. I plan on having a lovely party all by myself. Come on, Blank. Haven't you had enough partying for one night? No. I'm almost at the point where I won't remember a thing about this evening. Yeah, one or two more and I'll, I'll hit amnesia. Why do you do things that you only want to forget? Because I'm bad. You said so yourself. Well, don't worry. No one got hurt tonight. Except for you. I think a very beautiful and bright and talented young lady is being wasted, and I can't think why, except that you must not like yourself very much. Like, you have so much going for you, it's ridiculous. Why don't you give yourself a break? Please don't be nice to me. Why not? Because I can't stand it. Oh, really, you can go now. Just do me a favor and um, please forget that tonight happened. Will you do me a favor and stay away from the liquor cabinet, all right? Okay. Oh, um... You'd better take some aspirin, or you're going to have a colossal headache in the morning. Yeah, I already have one. Oh, I'll get you some aspirin now. Where are they? Uh, in the bedroom. Yours? Why don't you put this on? It'll be freezing in that wet thing of a bobby hat on. You know, you're really amazing. I thought that the men would vote for you, but if I had your performance on tape tonight, you'd get the women by landslide. I'm not performing. Then why are you doing this? I want your vote. I'll get you a cold cloth for your head. How did I uh, go with Russ? Oh, I have one thing to say to you. Don't ever give me advice on how to handle a man ever again. Oops. Of course, I should know better than to listen to you with your track record. Oh, yours is so much better. You've made twice as many mistakes as I have. And your last one was a psychopath. No, you go too far. I've had a hard enough time getting over that without you making it worse. Then why don't you just lay off me? You know, it's this holier-than-thou attitude that kills me as if you had all the answers. Oh, yeah? Well, at least I'm not throwing myself at a man who is madly in love with uh. his wife. Ha-ha. <laughs> oh. Hi. What are you doing here, Rose? I ran into Blake at the country club. She had had just a little too much to drink, so I drove her home. Oh, I'm sorry she's been so much trouble to you. No, it hasn't been any trouble at all. You 
put this on your head a little later and make it feel better, okay? Mm -hmm. um, and don't be too rough on her. She just had a bad day. Ross, thank you. You're welcome. Good night. Good night. See ya. Why didn't you tell me he was here? How could you be so selfish? You know how I feel about Ross. You let me go on and on, and he's right there in the house. I, so I, 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 I wasn't say? thinking. So typical, isn't it? I mean, did you have one thought as to how I might feel when he walked into the room? Mom, I, I just forgot. You I, forgot. I, I had some drinks before, and I wasn't thinking clearly, and then when you start yelling at me, I just, I, I forgot. You forgot that there is a living, breathing human being here in the same house? And Ross, of all people, after tonight? Oh, God, I'm going to explode. Well, I think we better go to bed. No, oh, wait a minute. I'm, mm -hmm. I didn't want this to happen again. We're just starting to get along. How could you disappoint me like this, Blake? Never mind. I don't want to know. I don't even want to hear it. I just want to go to bed, pull the covers over my head, and forget today ever happened. <sighs> personal. All Ross did was postpone his candidacy announcement. He had his secretary call me. Okay, so he was busy. Oh, I think it's just because I made a fool of myself last night. Mom, it's not like you hog-tied him and dragged him into your bed. Blake, please. Did you? <laughs> I just told him that I hated the way things ended with us. Oh, how brazen. <laughs> and that I'd like to get together again. That's what you call throwing yourself at a man? No, I did. That was before. I mean, after. I, never mind. Anyway, he felt uncomfortable and I was embarrassed. Oh, Mother, I've done so much worse. I really think you're making too much out of this. So why is he avoiding me? Hi. I'm sorry I had to cancel my press conference, but I got caught in this endless meeting. I know how hard it can be to extricate yourself. Uh, it's no problem. Good, then I'd like to reschedule. How's tomorrow looking? Uh, yeah, I, I, we could do that. Uh, oh, I wouldn't do that. Ross' candidacy will be buried on the third page of the Metro section. I'd wait a while, maybe even a week. A week? Why wait? Eve Guthrie. Oh, she's right. She's the American uh, doctor who was detained in Cambrai. Nick is interviewing her today on the air. <sighs> yeah, she'll be front page news tomorrow. That's a big story. All right, all right, I guess, uh, I guess we wait. Good. I think it's best if you wait. I have some calls to make. Okay. Mike, thank you for the suggestions. She's very bright. Yes, she is. All right, let's get going. Uh, <clears throat> what's the matter? Russ, I can't work on your campaign anymore. I should have told you about this a long time ago. What, it's last night? Last night? No. That's why you're not going to work on no, the campaign? No, not at all. And I want you to know that I think you'll make a great senator. It's just... So what's the problem? The problem is that I own an interest in this television station. I'm sorry. With everything that's been going on lately, I didn't even give that a thought. Well, I have been thinking about it, and I've, I've got to deal with the <sighs> ethics issue here. If I help you in your campaign... Oh, no, 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 no. If you do that, Leo Flynn will be screaming bloody murder. Yeah. And it's going to jeopardize the licensing. <sighs> yeah. I'm sorry I put you in this spot. You didn't put me here. I put myself here. Probably pushing again. No, Holly. Now, last night... Oh, we... let's just say we were out of sync. 
Yes, our timing was just off. Yeah, That's all. I mean, we could just erase it from the calendar. I can do that. Great. That's done. You know, Ross, you have such a smooth way of dealing with things. Yeah, don't I, though? Now, when can I reschedule this announcement of mine? Uh, yes. You know, I think you should get another media consultant. I don't know if I need one right at the moment. Why don't you consider Blake? Blake? Yes. She's been very helpful to your campaign, don't you think? I don't know, Holly. That's a rather interesting idea. And <laughs> you two have been getting on a lot better than you used to. Yeah, I, I, I guess we are. And mm -hmm. last night when she was so drunk, I think she was appreciative that I got her home safely. Yeah, let me <laughs> think about this for a while. Senator Marler has a rather discordant ring, don't you think? Uh, mother doesn't think so. Uh, your mother's been known to be wrong about men before. Yeah, runs in the family. He's still fighting her off? I don't know, and I don't care. I've decided to stay out of mother's personal life. Interesting decision. You're not getting involved with him again, are you? <laughs> Why do you care? I know what you've gone through because of him. And that bothers you? He's married, Blake. Stop teasing yourself. Why? Because I'll get burned again? Don't worry about me, Ross. I prefer teasing other people. You do love to tease, don't you? Only when I have to. Ah, uh, do you have any aspirin? Still hungover? Oh, that's right. You were there. Yes, like that was me. Oh, yeah, now, oh, it's all coming back to me. Oh, I really tied one on, didn't I? You were pretty drunk, yeah. Uh, just remembering. Ooh, I was pretty out there. I even started coming on to you. What a revolting thought that is. Yeah, I'll say, you're not even my type. No, no offense. None taken. I've noticed, though, that uh, with your, in spite of your obvious disinterest in me, you've been very helpful in terms of my candidacy, I mean. Thank you. I find that to be puzzling. I suppose. Why do you think I'm helping you? You tell me. Well, you could certainly use some sound campaign advice. Oh, so you thought you'd just jump right in there, then? What can I say? I'm just a giving kind of girl. Blake, you're making me nuts. Why don't you give me a straight answer for once, all right? What have you two got your heads together about? Why have you suddenly become so interested in helping Ross? Is that a capital crime? Just tell me one thing. Is Roger at the bottom of this? Oh, please, you never lay off him, do you? Well, the thing is, Blake, he doesn't make a secret of his feelings about my candidacy. What does it have to do with me? Are you saying he has not asked you anything about Ross's campaign? Yes, as a matter of fact, he just did. Uh -huh. And I didn't say a word about it. So then why all the advice? Did it ever occur to you that I think you'd make a good senator? If you ever learn how to market yourself. I think I've done pretty well so far. You know, when you announce your candidacy, you're going to have to have all the answers. He's the district attorney, Blake. He's had a lot of experience in answering questions. Okay. In one line, tell me what your candidacy is all about. <coughs> My campaign is not about one-liners. Well, it better be. If you can't give a 20-second bite on your campaign, then you won't even have one. Look, I think I am going to run a very good campaign. That's your first problem. You don't know how badly you do need help. <laughs> 